Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history. Imagine a world where Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal stayed together and dominated the league. Recently, Penny opened up about his feelings on Shaq's success with Kobe Bryant, and it's a story you won't want to miss. In an interview on the Point Forward podcast, Penny Hardaway admitted that he was jealous of what Shaq and Kobe achieved on the Los Angeles Lakers. Penny felt that it could have been him and Shaq celebrating those championships if only they managed to keep their partnership intact. So why don't we take a trip down memory lane? Shaq joined the Orlando Magic in 1992 and quickly established himself as a dominant force by winning Rookie of the Year. Penny came on board a season later after a stellar college career at Memphis and together they turned the Magic into immediate contenders. By 1995, they had reached the NBA Finals an incredible achievement for such a young team. In 1996, the Magic made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but were swept by Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. With Shaq's contract up, negotiations between his representatives and the Magic went sour. The Magic couldn't meet Shaq's financial demands, leading him to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers. There, he joined forces with a young and talented Kobe Bryant. While Shaq has admitted that money did play a part in his departure, Penny recently explained that the lack of maturity and the team's inability to manage their egos also played a significant role. Shaq himself has spoken about the clash of egos and financial disagreements that led to his departure from Orlando. He has referenced that the front office dubbed Magic Penny's team and his ego ultimately led him to testing out free agency. While Shaq and Kobe went on to win three consecutive NBA titles from 2000 to 2002, Penny faced a series of injuries that derailed his promising career. He went from being an all-star guard to a second string player, a far cry from his early days with Shaq. On his appearance on the Point Forward podcast, Penny stated, and I quote, watching him and Kobe together, for sure there was some jealousy there because I felt that that should have been me and Shaq. It just didn't happen, man. But I promise you, if we would have stayed together, it would have been championships won. Shaq and Penny achieved so much in a short time, making their split up even more heartbreaking for fans. Their partnership, which held so much promise, only lasted three seasons, leaving a void and many to ponder what could have been. Just imagine if they had worked out their differences and matured together, how many championships could they have won? The chemistry that Shaq found with Kobe was something special, but it's tantalizing to think about how that could have been Shaq and Penny dominating the court together. They had the potential, the talent, and the drive. It's one of those scenarios that will always spark debate among NBA fans. Partnerships in the NBA are often fraught with challenges. Ego, money, and injuries can derail even the most promising duos. Shaq and Penny's story is a reminder of how fragile success can be and how critical it is for teams to manage their stars effectively. What other duos could have been dominant if they had been different? It's a fascinating part of NBA history to ponder. So with that being said, what do you guys think? Could Penny and Shaq have achieved the same level of success as Shaq and Kobe did? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more deep dives into basketball history. Thanks for watching. My name's Damian Peters and I'll see you next time.